Senate Democrats on Tuesday approved raising the federal government's debt ceiling by $2.5 trillion, bypassing a GOP filibuster as part of a deal struck by congressional leaders. The 50 to 49 vote fell along party lines following an agreement by GOP senators last week to pass legislation allowing for a simple majority vote. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer said in a speech before the vote that the increase will cover the government's needs into 2023. Here he is. The resolution we will vote on will provide for raising of the debt limit to a level commensurate with funding necessary to get into 2023. As I have said repeatedly, this is about paying debt accumulated by both parties. So I'm pleased Republicans and Democrats came together to facilitate a process that has made addressing the debt ceiling possible. I want to thank the Republican leader and all my Republican colleagues who reached out across the aisle in good faith to bring us to this point. Meanwhile, in a separate speech, Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell again warned of the repercussions of raising the debt limit, saying it will just be the beginning. Here he is. If they jam through another reckless taxing and spending spree, this massive debt increase will just be the beginning. More printing and borrowing to set up more reckless spending, to cause more inflation, to hurt working families even more. What the American people need is a break. The House, meanwhile, voted 221 to 209 in favor of the increase after the Senate struck the deal. Representative Adam Kissinger is the only House Republican to vote with the Democrats. While some Republican leaders say the strategy of allowing the Democrats to solely lift the debt ceiling will play into their hands, others have accused McConnell of caving to political pressure, saying Democrats should have been forced to raise the debt ceiling entirely on their own through budget reconciliation. Visit FISM.TV news for more content.